This is Tips for the Weekend, November 27th, 2021. This is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com. One of the reasons why I recommend not installing a new operating system too soon is because so often there's tweaks and things that come out in the news that allows us to control it better. And one of the complaints I know for many people, especially Windows 11 Home users, is the mandate that Microsoft has put forward to install it with a Microsoft account. Well, there's a way around it. You don't have to install it with a Microsoft account. Now, I will admit that it's easier with a Windows 11 Pro. It makes it a little bit trickier to do it with a Windows 11 Home, but it is still possible to install it without a Microsoft account. It all has to do with timing and know exactly where to click and do things. So way number one, you install it without an internet connection at a specific time. So unlike Windows 10 Home, you could, you could install it without an internet connection completely and the operating system wouldn't mind it. Now you have to install it with an ethernet connection and that right at a certain point in time, you disable that ether connect connection. And here's how to do it. Here's one way how to do it, I should say. So you get to a spot in Windows 11 Home during the setup where it says, I really want to make sure that you're connected to the internet. And if not, it stops right here and it actually will not let you to go forward and there's no next button to click. But right after this screen, we'll want to disconnect the Ethernet. So what we need to do is during the install process, let it have Ethernet until it gets to a certain point. And that point is right after you set up the name of the computer and right before you set up the Microsoft account. I'll show you what we mean. Okay, so now I have an Ethernet connection and I can click Next. And it's going to check for updates. And it's going to want to name your device. I'm just going to call it test. And it's going to reboot. And after it boots back up again, after it's renamed it, we'll come to a spot where we'll want to disconnect the Ethernet. It says just a moment. And because I don't want to set up a Microsoft account, I'm going to pause it at this point in time and disable the Ethernet. Okay, now that the Ethernet is disconnected, I'm going to press this arrow key here again. And notice how it didn't ask for you for a Microsoft account, it's just going to say who's the name. And you want to set up a password. Hopefully I did that twice okay. Whoops, let's try that again. Can't type and talk at the same time. And then of course it wants security questions. So I'm just gonna.
And I'm not going to go through the rest of these settings. Normally I'd let, I'd want you to go through one by one and read them. For purposes of the video, I'm just going to click on next. And keep in mind that Ethernet is still disconnected. So I had it connected in order to initially turn on the, the computer and get it set up. But after that, I unplugged it right when it asked for the Microsoft account. And from that point forward, I have it disabled. And there you have it, a computer, Windows 10 Home, without a Microsoft account. Now we still have the funky menu and all that, but we've got tricks up our sleeve for that too. We'll go into more of that later. So there we have it, Windows 11 Home, and we don't have, we have a local account, it's not a Microsoft account. So the trick is having that in Ethernet disabled right as it asks you for what you want for the Microsoft account. You have to have it plugged in to install initially, but right after that, unplug it right as it gets to asking about that Microsoft account, and you can go on and set it up without a Microsoft account. So again, don't forget, Unplug the Ethernet right after you name the PC, it reboots. When it asks for your Microsoft account, make sure the Ethernet is not connected. Click the big arrow on the upper left that goes around setting up the Microsoft account. You put in the name of the computer and go on. On Windows 11 Pro, it's easier. You can click back and skip the setup. Or you can also set up a local account after it's been set up and disable the Microsoft account. But as you can see, I've just demonstrated on release version of Windows 11, you can get around setting up a Microsoft account based machine. Have a great week. The newsletter comes out tomorrow. I can't believe it's already December. Where has the year gone? We're still at MS DEF CON 3. That is, we're still tracking some issues. I want you to go ahead and install the updates right now. There are some printing issues we're still tracking. Fortunately for consumers, I'm not seeing a lot of printing issues. It's more on peer-to-peer -peer networks. But if you have any issues, please post out in the forums. We'll be glad to help you. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for AskWitty.com.